Welcome to Asinipo. This is a Roman city of about 2,000 years of age where the retired soldiers of the Roman Legion, Pompey's soldiers, um, came here to set up. And um, we have the Roman amphitheatre here, which was built around the time of the first century BC. It's probably one of the most ancient Roman theatres in Hispania. Asinipo is placed on a limestone plateau that's about a thousand meters above sea level. Archaeological works have found that Asinipo was first occupied in the Copper Age, 3000 BC. And in the 9th and 10th centuries, the place comes into contact with Phoenicians established on the Malaga coast. At the end of the 7th century, Asinipo is abandoned and the population settled in the near Silla del Moro, returning to the old place in the 5th century BC. The Roman presence since the year 206 BC brought great changes, such as monumental buildings, and they minted their own coins here. Asinippo was quoted by Strabo and Pliny the Elder. After the 3rd century, Asinippo fell into a decline and was replaced by Arunda, which is nowadays called Ronda. The plateau was occupied until the Middle Ages, when the ruin of the Roman theatre was used as an observation tower by the Muslim Kingdom of Granada. Asinipo was known since the 16th century as Ronda la Vieja, Old Ronda. After suffering several pillages, the archaeological works began in 1967 and focused on the Roman theatre. It was declared a national monument. The Domus is the prototype housing of the wealthy classes of a Roman city. In Asinipo, we only know of one. The structure is formed by two different spaces located on two levels. In the lower part, we find rooms that could have been used for cooking and storage. There was also an altar for the cult of the domestic gods, a symbol to protect the house and its inhabitants. The thermi, body hygiene and physical exercise were the two key elements of society in the classical world. It was in Roman times when they reached the full range of public needs. The bath was composed of several rooms, changing rooms, latrines, hot rooms, temperate and cold rooms. The heat was produced by burning wood under the floor of the hot rooms. The Asinipo thermal baths were supplied with water from a neighbouring source and the level of it increased by water wells filling three large deposits. The perimeter gallery allowed the casual spectators to take shelter from the sun and the rain, as well as offering a place of social re relaxation and conversation. These are the oldest buildings that we can see in Asinipo today and they date back to the 8th and 9th centuries BC. So within the walls of these huts were found the remains of amphora that contained salted fish and they were Phoenician amphora so the trade between the Phoenicians and Esenipo existed. <laughs>